for India for a three-day visit. Well, Israel's Defense Minister Ehud Barak has threatened to attack Lebanon, not just Hezbollah. We have more for you. Despite the apparent political disturbance that has taken place in Lebanon lately as a result of reports of a possible indictment that would touch Hezbollah members, Lebanese officials have mutually refused any Israeli threats. The latest threats came from Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak, who said that in any future war, Israel will see it as legitimate to hit any target that belongs to the Lebanese state, not just to Hezbollah. In the summer of 2006, the former senior government was considered a close ally of the Bush administration, and hence, this government was under the protection of Washington. Such threats are not new. Our unity is a deterrence against any Israeli threat. Israel does not need a pretext to attack, but we should still not give the regime any excuse. These threats come as Lebanon entered a critical juncture in its internal politics. As reports of a possible indictment of Hezbollah members in the Rafiq Hariri case created a quarrel between Hariri's future movement at Hezbollah, which considers an indictment part of a plan to distort the image of the resistance. Arab leaders coming to visit Lebanon in the next few weeks will reportedly seek an internal agreement very much similar to the Doha Agreement of 2008, which created a coalition government and legitimized the arms of the resistance. Analysts believe that Barak's statements at this particular time are aimed at weakening these Arab efforts, which seek to ease the internal Lebanese tension. This is a political message. It is linked to what is happening in Lebanon amid the special tribunal. Barak is telling the Lebanese that national consensus should never include arms for Hezbollah. A possible visit of prominent Arab and regional heads of state, most prominent of whom are the Saudi king and the Syrian president in the coming week could serve as part of a political agreement to take place in Lebanon. Any such agreement will undoubtedly again shed light on the role of Hezbollah as a resistance movement, which has changed Lebanon's regional status, as its leader, Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah, has said. Mariam Saleh, Press TV, Beirut.